straight putt drill. This is a very simple drill, but an extremely important one. The ability to get straight putt started online means you have good technique, alignment, and aim. Before you can make breaking putts consistently, you need to be able to start the putts on the line of your choice, and this drill focuses on that skill. Setup. In the app, you'll select whether you're doing this drill at home or at the course practice facility. You can optionally enable tracking impact location, which will be discussed later. You can also enable tracking mental score as well if you're struggling to focus at practice. You'll choose the level of the drill you want to do. I suggest starting at the first level and progressing through the levels as you pass and improve. Now that the app is ready to go, we can set up the drill. Step one is to find yourself a straight putt of the intended distance. The straight putt for any given hole will typically be either straight uphill, straight downhill, or occasionally flat. I like to find a spot and hit a putt. If the putt breaks right to left, you need to rotate around the hole clockwise to find the straight putt. If the putt breaks left to right, you need to rotate around the hole counterclockwise to find the straight putt. Once you find a putt that rolls straight, you're ready to go. Alternatively, you can easily do this drill indoors with a putting mat or even on a short carpet putting at a cup. Performing the drill. You're simply gonna hit straight putt after straight putt and see how many you can make in a row from various distances. If you make the putt, mark the putt as hold on your phone or watch. If you miss left, mark the putt as left on your phone or Apple Watch. If you miss right, mark the putt as right. If your putt has too much speed, mark the putt as long. If your putt ends up short of the hole, mark the putt as short. Drill takeaways. The app will analyze your results and give you simple feedback on how you performed. You'll be given a score from 0 to 100. The score is effectively the percentage of putts that you made. Strive for greater than 80% to advance to the next level in the drill. The drill summary will also tell you your strokes gained relative to a PGA Tour Pro. Challenge yourself to putt like the pros. Your misses will be broken down into directional misses. These are putts that miss left or right and indicate poor face control with the putter. And speed misses. These are putts that do not have the right speed to go in. Knowing which of these causes the majority of your misses will tell you whether to work on speed or direction in your practice. Additional information, such as make rate, the percentage of putts you make, and your longest streak are also there for you to challenge yourself to improve each time you do the drill. Levels. The first level of this drill starts from close range, just three feet. Make more than 80% of your putts to advance to the next level of this drill. You'll continue to progress further and further from the hole with each level, which will require better face control and a better stroke to pass. Tips to improve. If this is your first time doing this drill, or if you're struggling to hit a straight putt, you can buy a string setup like this one, or even a chalk line to draw a straight line on the green temporarily. This will help you visualize where you want the ball to roll. If you're still struggling, there are several things I would check. First, is your putter properly sold? A putter with the heel or toe up in the air makes it harder to hit the sweet spot and will lead to less consistent contact. Second, are your forearms aligned with the shaft of the putter? If there's a significant angle between your forearms and the putter, it can make it hard for your arms and putter to work together. Third, are your eyes over the ball or just inside the ball? Putting mirrors do a good job of showing this, but consistent setup will help your eyes see the line so that you can make more putts. Fourth, ball position. Ideally, you want the ball just in front of the center of your stance. This will promote a slightly upward stroke. Too far forward or back in your stance and you'll likely see more directional misses as the face will be too open or closed at impact. Fifth, are you striking putts from the center of the putter face? You can use impact tape to make sure you are consistently striking the ball in the center. Hitting the ball anywhere else will make it difficult to control distance and direction. Once you get comfortable making putts, you want to groove that stroke. I do this drill frequently to check in and make sure that my fundamentals are good, particularly if I start to struggle on the greens and before any tournament rounds. Let's get started.